this little pink one. It's just a watercolor pencil. And I am going to section this off in five colors. Hey, Kristen. So these are my colors. And I think we're gonna go light to dark. We're gonna do, um, I'm gonna turn them upside down again. We're gonna go light to dark. Well, where am I? And we're gonna use these on our background, all right? Yay! Absolutely, Luann. I will trace that onto something and uh, get that to y'all as well. All right, so my first color is going to be this blue. It is Bahama blue. And I'm trying to see. My flower vase is gonna hit the bottom. So I'm thinking maybe just a swerve of blue. I think we're gonna go, let's see if I do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, that's good. All right, so I think the blue, the Bahama blue, is that what I said? Bahama blue, thank you for the stars, Rebecca. Bahama Blue, I'm just gonna come in and I am just gonna make a little swoop of color, just like that, all right? So that'll be my Bahama Blue. Then we're gonna do, and I'm gonna mute these colors down with white, okay? Then we're gonna do, uh, this is Cayman Blue. So I think we'll do, let's see, we don't wanna do it exactly the same. Like, I don't wanna do that, design every time. So I'm gonna start skinnier, and then come up, and then back down. <laughs> I know that's crazy. Then we're gonna use a uh, Candid Coral. Yeah. I know, Shannon, they're terrible, aren't they? So then we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna come up, and over, and up. And we'll, we'll kinda adjust this as we go. My next color is Spiced pumpkin. So let's do, let's do, like that. And then the last color will be tiger lily. All right, thank you for the stars, guys. You are so sweet, so generous. So let's go ahead and just get started with our colors and we'll make any line work adjustments. Thank you, Deanna. We'll make any line work adjustments as we go. Let me grab a clean plate because that one is very dirty. So we'll have plenty of space for our colors. So I'm gonna start with, this live's gonna be forever. If y'all need to go out and come back, don't stress it. Just do what you gotta do. All right, let me put my tracer over here. And the first color is the Bahama Blue. Hey, Jean. I'm gonna put that on my plate. And then we have our Cayman Blue. We'll put that up. Oh, maybe we're not using Cayman Blue. If you wrote that down, you may have to change. This is dried up, I believe. Hang on, we might. Oh, look. We got a little. Let me see what we can get out of here. Thank you, Carol. All right, there is some Cayman Blue. That's all dried up. Next is our Candid Coral. Hey, Catherine, you're fine. And we're gonna use a little bit of that and Spice Pumpkin. Hey, Florida. And then last but not least, Tiger Lily. So we're just gonna use all these colors. You're welcome, Phyllis, thank you so much. All right, now we're gonna add some white because we are gonna use this. The flowers, like Julie said, came from Hobby Lobby. They don't have them online, so you're gonna have to go and search for them, and they came from the jewelry department, like where the beads are, where the beads hang, like string beads, Those are that's where those came from. All right, so I'm gonna start with my first color, and I'm gonna use a larger brush. It does kinda, so maybe it'll be a coastal hippie vibe. <laughs> I'm gonna use my larger brush, 
Um, I'm gonna wet it and then we'll get all that excess out and I'm gonna put white on first. So we'll get our white and I'm gonna do my sides too because this is kind of hippie fun. And I'm gonna go right up to my little line I drew. That watercolor is coming out in my, in my, the pencil is showing up on my thing, but I don't care. I don't care underwear. So we're gonna get that white on. I'm gonna do my edge. And I'm gonna leave my white brush white. I'm gonna grab my other brush, same size, just a larger brush so we can do this in a quick fashion. And I'm gonna go into this super fun blue that I can't remember the name of, Bahama. And I'm going to go right over the top of my white. And we're gonna create, let me turn this sideways a little bit. Hey, Reams, I'm gonna move this over. Hey, Stephen Gray. And we are going to add this Bahama blue or whatever it is. I can't, already can't remember. Let's do our sides. Bring it around. Bring it around. Do the bottom. And hopefully this won't turn out to be what? A hot mess. Hopefully it'll be all right. All right, so there is our first color. Now I'm gonna skip this one and let that dry for a minute and I'm gonna to go to this one. So I'm gonna skip that blue and go to the coral, but I'm gonna add, oh, oh, I got coral in my white brush because I was not thinking. It's because I had one brush for color and one brush for white. Let me get that off there. So I'm gonna go into my white first and we're gonna skip one line. Do my sides. Just... Yeah, who knows? It might be a hot mess. All right, I'm just gonna get a little bit of this white on. Just to mute our color down a little. See my pink pencil? <laughs> you see my watercolor pencil? All right. Now I'm gonna get my color brush and we're gonna add that coral color. I'm skipping every other one. Oh, not a bit, Jean, not a single bit of schooling. <laughs> She is just so delicious. Oh my goodness, so delicious. My finger is better. Uh, as long as I can not bump it, I'm fine. But I do tend to bump it a good bit. All right, so I'm gonna skip the other blue and I'm gonna go into the coral. And we're gonna get that coral color. I'm gonna follow my line best I can. Let's follow it up here and get a little more. Follow my line. And we'll turn this sideways, just easier for me. She is so precious, y'all. I, I don't even know what to tell y'all. It just, I could just sit and look at her all day long. All right, let me come down. Let's do our edge. Y'all know I hate doing edges. Sometimes it must be done. All right. Ah. 
boo-boo that. So let's straighten that up a little. Smooth out. Let's do this edge. Thank you, Jane. And smooth that out a little. So that's that color. And we'll put that in our water, get that rinsing. Hey, Kate, how are you? Hey, Kathy from Arizona. Just to mute the color, yes. I don't want it to be harsh. I don't want it to be so bright because I do want my flowers to show up. So I'm trying to like tone the color down. All right, let's do this top color, which is the reddish orange. I believe it is called Tiger Lily, if I am not mistaken. A little bit of white, just to tone. Now we're gonna go in, not using my white brush. Let's rinse this one. And we'll use that reddish orange at the top. Woo wee. Look at that. All right, oh, my nose is tickling. Hey, Darlene. I'm gonna do my sides real quick so I don't have to worry about them. And the top. Sides. Now we'll micromanage. I'm going to turn that sideways a little bit, and I'm going to come down and right on my little line that I sketched on, a little bit more. Obviously, I have way too much paint on my palette, but so be it. All right, we'll just smooth that out so it's nice, uniform. All right, now I think what I'm gonna do real quick is just hit this with my heat gun. Make sure it's dry before we go into our next colors. You either, Sue? Aren't they pretty? They don't have them online, Diana. They're not online. That's gonna show up nicely. Yeah, if they don't have them in the store, I'm gonna go and see if I can get a bunch, but they do not have them online. So if they don't have them in your store, you might be out of luck. All right, so we're gonna take our white we're gonna go back and this is gonna be our dark blue color, but we're definitely going to fill in with our white first. Right up to that edge. Right up to the edge. Right up. Alright. Now we'll get our other brush. Diane, I would use art resin. If you've never done resin before, it is a, a non-hazmat resin made specific specifically <laughs> made specifically for art. It is has a highest rating for non-yellowing. It has, it's non-hazmat, it's super important. And um, it's made in the good old USA. 
So we're going into this darker blue, which is blue Cayman, Cayman blue. I'm gonna hold on to my canvas. Look at that. Oh my, that blue is kind of icky and dry, but we're gonna work it out. And, ooh, right up to the coral color. Right up. So I'm super excited to tell you guys too that you know how we every year at spring we have a spring challenge and we are on Monday the first we are launching our spring challenge and it is a sunflower, because you know I love my sunflowers. And sunflowers scream spring to me, so I'm just an addict when it comes to sunflowers. I have a sunflower issue. I need to go to Sunflowers Anonymous. But we're doing a sunflower in our spring challenge. It's a $10 entry fee, and we will be posting so make sure you follow us. If you don't follow me now, make sure you follow because we'll be posting about the Spring Sunflower Challenge on Monday. $10 to uh, play along. Um, the actual challenge is towards the end of April, I think. Don't make me lie, but I think it's like the 22nd through the 25th. Uh, we do a, a step every day over the course of four days, start to finish, inside a private Facebook group. So that's what you get for your $10. And we do have kits available for those who would like to purchase a kit to accompany the challenge. Look how pretty that looks. So more about that next week. So stay tuned. If... Um, Want more information about that? You can um, get on my text list as well. And we're gonna be sending out a text because of course we have kits. Of course, they are limited supply. And, um, ooh, hang on, I'm gonna flip this so I can do this side. They are gonna be limited supply, so we only have a limited number of kits. And uh, we are so excited because this is a super fun project. Ooh. So stay tuned for that. And Catherine, if you will post the text phone number. So like we have a text app so that when we're going live, we let people know that we're about to go live. A lot of y'all get that text. So what we'll do on Monday, when it's posted, we'll send out a text with a link so that you guys can be the first ones and make sure you get in and get a kit before they go. Cause y'all know them things go fast. They go fast. We have people fighting over them. All right. Let's see. Ooh, I stuck my finger in the blue. I don't know why I'm micromanaging this white like it's my final color. I need to stop. Lord have mercy. Let me rinse this. I am Laura. Uh, we are in the process of doing the next batch. It takes quite a, a get the, it takes a bit of time and the weather has to be right. So it's been super cold and super windy. You know you can't paint in the outside in the wind. And so just be patient and we will have that very soon. All right here, this color is the Spice Pumpkin. And voila, look at that. Look at that. Does this look 60s and 70s? I don't know why these pick, these colors are off my mug, y'all. Um, I don't even know where they came from. It just felt right to me. So, 
If these aren't your kind of colors, then you can pick your own for sure. Be yourself. Are you feeling groovy, Becky? Because <laughs> you could totally do this with whatever colors make your heart happy. I was just trying to do something different. All right, let me get that edge. Edge. Turn around and get this edge. Then we'll finish up that front. This is so outside my wheelhouse, isn't it? I mean, this is not typical Cindy art, so I hope y'all enjoy it. I knew when I saw those flowers, though, I was going to have to do something. Just something a little outside the box, outside the Cindy box. Look at that. I am so digging that. Look at that. Yay! Let's see. All right, I am going to put my brushes in my water and look at all that paint. I put it on my palette and I'm not using it. I need to scoop that back up. I'm gonna dry this real quick so we can, um, thank you, Angela, so that we can move on. No. It's $10 per person. If you guys, it, you'll have all this information on Monday, but if you're a member of the Shattered Circle, you do not pay, as usual, okay? You do not pay. The dating game, that's hilarious. That's exactly what it reminds me of. If you are a non-member, each person has to pay, okay? We don't share we don't, you don't pay $10 and then have a group of people. That's kind of not fair to me and all the people who are working so hard behind the scenes. So it's $10 per person. Uh, and uh, kits are, um, gosh, don't make me lie. I'll have to post the price on the kits um, on Monday because I cannot remember and I don't want to say the wrong thing. All right, so we're gonna let that warm up a second. Lovely. I gotta see this. I don't know why my iPad's acting crazy. I wanna see that full picture. There you go. Yay. Oh, that's hilarious, Tracy. You'll have to show us. It looks far out. That's right, right on. <laughs> So this is just fun and I wanted something colorful, but I also wanted to make sure that our hippie flowers still showed up, okay? Yes, one kit per person, absolutely. Um, we do one kit per person because we almost always run out. We could, we're a small business and we only have a limited supply of kits. Uh, so we want to be fair and uh, give, um, everybody the opportunity. All right, I am going to tape this back down, not back down, because I didn't tape it down before, and I am going to trace, fold that in. I'm gonna grab my stylus, and somewhere I have tracing paper. Where are you? Right here. Yeah, it's not me either, Jean, at all. I just thought it would be a super fun project. So what I'm gonna do now is just slip my graphite paper under, and I'm gonna very lightly outline my vase. It's gonna be clear, but we're gonna draw it on so we know where our flowers go. So we'll just draw a real quick outline of the vase, oops. And then I'm just gonna draw in five stems because we have five flowers. I'm gonna just draw in 
randomly. Five stems and two flowers. One, or not flowers, petals, leaves. What in the world? I can't talk, right? So, we peel this off. All right, so now we have our vase and our stems. So I'm going to grab, where is my liner? I just bought. <laughs> where is it, y'all? Here's one. All right, I'm going to use some green. This is avocado green. Hey, Patty. I gotta get this plastic off, this brand new bottle, and it hurts my finger to do it. Ugh. Let's put a little bit of this green on our plates. And we have a liner brush, just around, all right? And I'm just gonna sketch in really lightly my stems, all right? Just with this green. I'm just gonna roll my paint. Can y'all see my palette? I'm just gonna roll my pointy brush, my round brush into that green. And I'm just gonna kind of sketch those stems out. So I'm gonna go right on my tracer line. And don't try to make them perfect because have you ever seen a perfectly straight stem on a flower? No, oh, they're all kinds of bumpy. So don't try for perfection. All right, and I'm gonna get a little bit of white, and I'm gonna come right back over it just in a couple spots here and there, and give it a little dimension. We'll rub that off, and we'll do another one. A little green, a little stem. Get a little white, scrub it in, come right over that green, and add just a touch of that white, and we'll just keep doing that. Another stem right here. Get a little more, a little more. Get a little white. Rub it in a little and come right down. Which one was it? <laughs> this one? Come right down into that green paint that's wet and just add a little bit of that white right back on top. And this one. Again. Make sure they're a little warbly. You don't want to stick straight line. And come back and add a little bit of that green, or that white. Last one, a little right over the line I traced. And a little white. Come in and just kind of come down and add a little bit of white. All right, now let's do the same thing to our leaves. All right, for our leaves, I'm going to start with um, Hauser Green Light. All right, let's see. It's a little bit of a brighter green. I think it'll go nicely with the colors on our palette and I'm gonna get a bigger brush. This is a number 10 round. Can you see that? Number 10, a little bit bigger. I'm gonna get into that green and I'm just gonna give myself a little leaf shape. So we're gonna start at the tip really lightly for that point of the leaf 
and then flatten it down and pull towards the back. Do again, flatten it down, fill it in. Now you can grab up a little bit of white on that same brush. I did not clean it, still dirty. And I'm just gonna hit one side, just very loosey-goosey. And then I'm gonna take some of that darker and I'm gonna hit the other side, same way. A little loosey-goosey. We're not trying for realism here. It's just kind of fun. All right, let's wipe that off and let's do the other leaf. And start at the point really gently and then push and pull to the bottom. Tickle, tickle and pull to the bottom. Let's fill it in. Grab a little bit of white and let's do it on this side. There's a little fun and a little bit of the darker on the opposite. That went a little crazy. I'm gonna add a little bit of that other green right back in. All right, now let's draw that. Let's draw it. Instead of actual paint, could you use acrylic paint mark? Absolutely. If the, uh, you need to make sure whatever marker you're using, I would use a Posca. Poscas are my, my new favorites, especially for color. Um, you just need to make sure that it is, um, it works with resin. And that look cute, Sherry? That would look cute. Thank you, Kimberlyn. My finger is better, Susan. It's still, like, I bumped it right before we got started, and so that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. And it made it a little red, but it is really so much better. It is doing really nicely. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to figure out placements for my cute little flowers while we're waiting on our canvas to cool off. And it's, see if there's something else. It does look like cat eyes. See if there's something else we might want. What is that? We might want to add. Not sure what's going on under there. So I'm thinking just adding, let's put the darkest one down here and maybe layer. Let's push that up and layer. I'm kind of digging that. Kind of digging that, but I also feel like it needs to be spread out. But then if we spread it out too much, then it oh, I am gonna outline the vase, Sue. I am gonna do that as soon as after I figure out. I want to make sure there's no more painting I want to do. So first I wanna kind of figure out. I'm gonna push this up. I want to kind of figure out where I want my flowers. Maybe like this. I'm trying to look at them on, <laughs> I'm trying to look at them on the Facebook page. So, cause it's easier sometimes to look at a picture and see. So let's see. I kind of like that. Kind of like layered them, some of them laying on top of each other. And guys, I know it's hard to see from there because um, the colors kind of blend in, but it looks way better <laughs> up close and in person than it does um, from where you're sitting. Okay, I'm going to pull out my Posca pen. Where is it? Black Posca Pen. Where are you? That is silver. That's white. Oh, come on. I just used it earlier. I know you're here, Mr. Posca. That's not it. That's silver again. Hang on, y'all. I got too many pens in my pen jar. Let me see if I can find it. All right, Posca. That's black, but not what I want. 
That's silver. I need all my Poscas in one spot. <laughs> there it is. That's what I want. Right there. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my Posca pen. Let's shake it up a bit. And we'll do a little test on the back, too. Oh, yeah. This is the Fine Point Posca. It is the... Um, 0 0.7 millimeters, so it's a super fine point. <gasps> and here's where, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna outline my vase. That's how simple this is. I'm just gonna outline it with black. I'm gonna bring a little white in and uh, then we will, I can't talk. Hang on, y'all. I'm trying to follow my line and it's hard to talk and do that. All right, let me come down. I know this is super simple, almost like childlike-esque, but that was kind of the whole point, so. All right, it's almost like cartoonish. I do have to hold my mouth right. Posca, it is a Posca pen, and it's black. Now I'm gonna take my white Posca, and I'm gonna make a little line right at the top, and then I'm gonna make a little line. I'm gonna fatten it up just a little bit. Right along that edge. Come on, fatty. And then another right at the bottom. All right. Now, I'm gonna take the same pen. And I'm gonna just make some quick strokes to make my pen, my leaves stand out a little more. And we're gonna outline lightly. I'm gonna take this white and add a little more detail there. Y'all, this is so silly. Silly and fun. Now, I'm gonna hit this just with a little bit of hot air just to make sure this pen is dry. And let's see what's happening. I don't know what's going on. I might need to update something on the old iPad because it is not working out well. All right, whimsical, that's it. <laughs> Super whimsical. I just wanna make sure this ink is dry before I rub my hand across it. Yes, Donna, you can get pasta pins from uh, Hobby Lobby from Michael's, and also on Amazon. I buy them on Amazon because I buy them in bulk. Big time bulk. All right, so now let's, let's go back to this again. So I'm trying to kind of connect my Let's see what I want. Probably, all right, let me do something real quick. I need to bring that up. Oh, that was wet, super wet. Hang on. I'm gonna bring that stem up just a little. I'll add a little white. All 
I need to hit that. That was super, super wet. I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of heat real quick. I didn't know you, I haven't been in a Walmart in so long. I didn't know you could get them there. All right, I'm gonna hit this with my Posca just to get a little extra. All right, now we'll put that one here. And this one will go here, here. Oh my Lord, y'all. See, this is why I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. This is where that comes in, because now I need to bring this up. Let's do, uh, hang on. Connect that to my leaf. <laughs> so my leaf is not floating. And we'll connect that. And hang on. Told y'all this might be a disaster. <laughs> a one line. Okay. Let's put that there. Let's hit this again. This is what happens when you don't know what you're doing. All right. Let's see if that'll work out. We'll put that one there. This one here. We'll put one here. I don't want them lined up. That's the problem. I think we're gonna, we were layering, that's why I'm crazy. Let's put one there and there. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take these off, because they're on top. I'm gonna mix up some resin. We're gonna resin these. And then we're going to add these on top and put a little resin on top of that and see what we think. So if uh, you see changes that you'd like to make to your, to your art piece, that is what I'm here for so that I can make the boo-boos and uh, ickies so you don't have to, right? Yes. Yeah, we can actually have a couple more. We could add one to the bottom, but let's go ahead and mix up some resin and see what we think. We'll just change things up if we need to. So I'm gonna make a half an ounce of resin. So I'm gonna do a quarter and a quarter so a quarter cup, quarter cup, y'all. What in the world? A quarter ounce and a quarter ounce, <laughs> a quarter cup. That would be a lot of resin, right? Yeah, I might add some clear Rennie in the in my vase. We're gonna play it by ear. We're gonna add. Ugh. Oh, that's funny, Sue. It's okay. I didn't even see it. I don't see half of what is said when I'm painting because I'm just painting. But um, let's go ahead and do hardener. We're going to do um, one quarter of an ounce of hardener. There. Then we're going to do one quarter of an ounce of resin. Thank you, Catherine. Quarter ounce of resin. There. Now let me grab a stir stick. For whatever reason, I did not bring one to this dance. There we go. And we're gonna mix this for three minutes. So if anybody has any questions while I'm mixing this, now's a great time. You know what I wanna do? You know what I want to do? I'm going to use, I'm going to use this pen, and I am going to do a swoop. Not inside my vase, and I'm not going to move my flowers, but I'm going to do just a line 
I messed that up. Between my colors too. Just a little something. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna mix. For three minutes, we are going to mix and scrape. And we're gonna do this for three minutes. So if anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to answer to the best of my ability. I don't know where he is. Stephen Gray, he walked in, Julie, and uh, I don't know, he must be in the warehouse. So, yeah, we're gonna put something at the bottom of the vase. I wanna put a, I wanna put a layer of resin down first. So, we're gonna stir. He's, I don't know if he cooked or not. He's ignoring me. Stephen Gray? Oh, I hear him. He's coming. The ladies want to know if you cooked me dinner. No. You did not cook me dinner? No, I sprayed the yard. You sprayed the yard. He sprayed the yard, y'all. <laughs> Joyce, Joyce wanted to know. It was a little too weedy, but I did it anyway. Yay, it our yard was weedy. Huh? huh? I was telling them our yard was weedy. Yeah. And so he sprayed the yard. So guess what that means, y'all? Get to go out for dinner. What do you What do you think we'll have? What should we go out and eat? <laughs> what should we have? Gus's chicken, Mexicano. The ladies say hello. Thank you, Donna. The ladies say hello to Hey Hey. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. We'll make him come and say good night when we're done. He's so cute. He's so cute today, y'all. Extra cute today. <laughs> That's right, Angela. Angela said a good yard man is hard to find. Carol thinks we should have Mexican. So does uh, Jane. Uh, steak would work too, but I cannot eat seafood. I am highly allergic. Possum. possum. <laughs> Did you say possum? <laughs> we could have possum as a pasta. Pasta. Oh, yeah, we could have pasta. Yes, Catherine, we do cook at home. He does most of the cooking these days. Uh, we actually uh, cooked last night. We had, yes, we had a baked chicken and salad last night that Stephen made. Mexican and margaritas sounds fantastic, Becky. Uh, sweet potato chips. Yeah, and we had, yeah, we had a salad, baked chicken, and fresh Stephen Gray made. Uh, sweet potato chips, so they were delicious. Everybody thinks we should go to Mexican. Yes, okay. I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's Guacamole Wednesday. <laughs> hey, Rita, how are you? We're just mixing resin and talking smack. Just talking smack. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine says it's time. I'm just gonna give it one more whirl. And I am just going to, I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna dump some of this down at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna use my hands. And we're gonna smear it around. We'll go all the way to the edge. This is preliminary. <laughs> Still working out the bugs. That really makes that color pop though, doesn't it? So now I'm gonna just dump a little bit right on top of that flower, but I am gonna like move it and smear it on and then smush it back up where it needs to go. Same thing here. The same thing here. And let's do some smooshing. Eggs and weenies, yes. So let's get resin on this, and then we'll smush this around. Bring it to the edge. I had to make sure I saved some resin. We'll put that back. Let's move this one. Get resin all over. Oh, my gloves want to fall off. Smear that around. 
All right, now let's place these back kind of where we want them. And I'm gonna go around. Around my edge. Now I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna get a little bit and just smear it around with my fingers. And I'm gonna put them in place, like right here. And just let it go where it wants to go. It wants to kind of be at an angle and that's fine with me. So I'm gonna take this one, we'll add a little to that. Do the same thing, smear it all around, street tacos. I love street tacos, y'all. And we'll put this one right here. We'll let it lean as well. I'm gonna actually push this one over just a little. There we go. And I think I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna just pull it off of here. They're just linked together and I'm getting resin all over them. They're just linked together with the little uh, rings. So now I need to put those somewhere where I'll just lay them right there. They won't stick to my table. And we'll add a little goo to that. <laughs> and it is a Mexican kind of night. I'm gonna throw this booger right down here at the bottom. All right, now, let me see. I'm gonna take this one glove off. I'm gonna take them both off real quick. I'm gonna grab, I think instead of using glass, I'm gonna find my stash O bubbles. I know I got some in this little basket next to my desk. There's my hat I was looking for earlier. I'm gonna use bubbles, and I'm gonna put some bubbles down at the bottom of my vase. I'll just dump some in my hand, and we'll add bubbles like they're water to the bottom, all likey. Very cute. Boom, boom, boom. And, yeah. Ugh. Now, now I'm gonna take my stick and kind of place those, kind of push them around, make sure they're where I want them. Super cute. And very carefully, I'm gonna pick this up with my gloves wrapped around it. <laughs> and I am, ugh, that was sticky. Now I have resin on my fingers. Y'all, I had to put my gloves on, I can't stand it. And plus, I don't wanna get resin on my boo-boo. So give me a second to get some new gloves. And then like I don't have any, I got like 10 cases in the back. Get these gloves back on. I'm gonna put some resin on top of my bubbles and a little on top of the top side flowers. So we'll put resin right on top of these. It'll give them that watery glow. And also, just a little on top and let it drizzle down the sides of these um, ones up here that are kind of tilted and layered. I like the layered look. We're gonna use every bit of this. So it was literally a half of an ounce of resin, and it was the perfect amount. We're gonna hit this with our heat gun. I'm gonna make sure we don't have any skippies. And whatever's left, we'll just dump right on top of those bubbles. This is so cute. All right, dump. We'll save these for the next live, or my next resin. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. 
I'll leave those hippie flowers just like they are. All right, let's hit these on low with our heat gun. Popping bubbles. Might have to get high. There we go. Pop those bubbles. Nice, smooth finish. And I see the brief. <laughs> I see the brie. I see the brie right here. What is that? Come on, get up. There we go. A little something. All right, let me show y'all this close up and personal. Don't forget, we'll be gifting this. So if you're interested in having this gifted to you, make sure you sprinkle and then let me know you sprinkled. And we will, anybody who sprinkles and then let us know, we'll put your name in the hat. And we'll give this lovely away to some hippie. One of you hippies out there. Look at that. It's just different, right? Not your typical Cindy art. It's super cute. I bet you thought we were going to uh, come and make some beach art today, didn't you? <laughs> How cute, there's the water and the flower at the bottom. I think it's adorable. So cute and simple.